Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have part three of the mini challenge in the challenge number five. This is our true May Mayhem mini challenge in the challenge. We are doing them out of order, but this is the embellishment video that will have your flip flop, your double tuck, as well as some beautiful large tags and some a variety of homemade washi. So if you like junk journals, you like using up your scraps, then why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so it will tell you when we have videos coming up. We are using the journal that we made in the mini challenge in the challenge number four. This was to be all out of scraps. I'll put the video for that journal in the description box down below. Our embellishments are, the deadline for that part of the journal is June 6th. And stay tuned for full details of this mini challenge in the challenge number five at the end of this video. And let's go ahead and dive right in and make some more embellishments. And I think that turned out really pretty. So that gives us the belly band. And then on this side, we have a pocket. And we have a place on this that has been compromised. I'm just going to go ahead and add some washi tape. to help clean that up. And then we'll just put a piece of washi tape that we're using down here. Okay, so another thing that I have is I have this edge piece and I was like, well that can be, and we can go ahead. So we can go ahead and turn this into washi tape and this will count as one of your, one of your things that you do. If you go ahead and make some washi tape and you can use glue and I, what I like to do is is go ahead and open it up and find a place that you're gonna actually see it so like like this page right here would be a great place because you will actually see it so I'm going to go ahead and it didn't start right at the top. Okay. We'll take that and we'll come down. And we did already add this other washi, so let's go ahead and We'll cut it because it doesn't want to rip. Okay, so there gives that gives us that. And then we have this little piece that we can come and add right here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and fold these. We have another one. This one's longer. I do have more pieces of things over here that can be washy. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to grab one of the brown Eiffel Towers. From the wash, the big washi. Okay. 
Um, there's another piece of scratch paper here. We can put that inside this. I'll cut it down. I'll go ahead and put this lace that we've been using on the top and again, I'll staple it. Okay, let me come in and Okay, so that gives us this cute little piece that we can put somewhere. And, uh, you know, we do have another packaging. So, okay, so that one will fit. If we can get the card that came with it out of it. You don't have to use what came with it. Okay, let's go ahead. It has um, holes where it was stapled. So we'll go ahead and cut it across there just because they would um, make it look unfinished. And you want, when you have a fold like this, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to open this. So if there's any overhang, have it come to this side. And that gives us a place to put, put this. And it decorates that page. So you get double duty out of that. So next we have this ribbon and remember you can turn your ribbon into washi as well so now we've got to decide which side I think I like this side better I want to put it along right here and you know what let's go ahead and we'll cut it and it's gonna I'm gonna let it it will hang off the sides it's gonna be the top and the bottom so we'll go ahead and start and sometimes you know that that is the wrong side that's going to be up but sometimes even on fabric I will like the wrong side better than the right side and I'll use it that way okay so pulling this let's make sure that Okay, so that will give us an edge. Okay, so we have our, our lace. Let's go ahead and cut one, two, three, four tabs we want them to be on the edge so find papers that are close to the edge to put your tabs on okay so and I'll start with my usually my front my front piece This one might work better with just three. I think we'll probably just put three because this is such a short journal. Okay, so there's one. And then I'll come down and I'll find a place and I'll put the second one or the, the one in the back. And usually it's the one, the bottom one for me. That's how I like to do them. Okay. 
and it gets lost behind the envelope, but that's okay. And then I think the third one, I'm gonna put it right on here. gives me some little tabs. I like that very much. Um, I think we can put a piece of this along this envelope. If I can, I like to do, um, do things a couple of times in a journal, but we went off the edge there. We'll come back and just lay the part over that <laughs> watch out having it stick to your fingers. Real world real world crafting as they say. Okay, so I, I like the way this, this comes down, so I'm gonna do the same thing here can figure out how far down your sticky goes and let it hang off. We have this. I happen to have this awesome washi and so we're going to use it because if you don't use it you'll lose it it washi it definitely has a shelf life you'll notice it starts sticking to itself or it doesn't stick at all and so it's better to go ahead and use it don't hoard it don't hoard your washi now we also have some of the large tags left from this digital. So I think what we'll do with these is we'll cut them down. They are printed on, these are printed on cardstock. It's the cardstock from Michael's. So obviously they're too big. So what one of the things that you can do is you can go ahead and just flip it up. Make yourself a little pocket. I like pockets and I cannot lie. So usually if there's a place to put a pocket, I'm probably going to put a pocket. Okay. Um, now I have some of these strips. Around the strips. Um, so I pulled out some of these pieces as well as some branding strips that I have in, that I keep in this little jar. And so I pulled some of those out. They were the long ones. Okay, so there's that. Remember we have our stickers that we're using. So I think we'll use the smile. And go ahead and grab us another piece of the lace that we're using. And that will give us a 
tab at the top. And that will give us a pocket, a pocket tag. I know it's weird. I'm going to cut my paper like that, but that will give me a piece that I can go ahead and we can make something for the back of that. So I've folded it down at the bottom and that's going to give me my straight edge. And then I'll be able to cut this and I want it to fit in that pocket. Yeah, that should fit in that pocket. And I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be a piece that we can fit in there. There we go. And it will give us a little more journaling space. And it's pretty. And so, we have, let's see, there we go, we'll put that right in there, and then, okay, now with her, I'm going to go ahead and cut around her hat. And that will give me the top of my tag. Okay, so that gives me the top of my tag. And this time we're going to go ahead and cut across. And we'll do the corners. And very simply, we'll do this, and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll add the flower over to this side, okay? Because if I put it over here, it's gonna go over her eye, but if I put it over here, um, I think that'll be better. So we'll go ahead, add the flower. Oh, somewhere down here we had bling, but of course we'll find it up at the end. Let's just go ahead and grab a new bling. It's all good. It's all good. You guys, my trash can didn't come back in. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost light. I can go out. <laughs> I can go out and grab it. Okay, so just with that. And then there's no line on this side, so let's go ahead and cut this line. And you could go ahead and cut her all the way, her profile. Um, okay, but that just gives you another way of making a tag. Oh, look what just her eyes. That's kind of cool. <laughs> just her eyes showing. Okay, so now do we have, we have this piece of paper. We have these note card pieces that we can add. Looking to see what um, pieces of the gift bag that we have left. Okay, so I think the pretty, pretty piece. This is the center of our signature here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut across. And then we'll cut the edges off. And you'll see I'm just cutting right at the edge and that'll take it off. 
Okay, so now we'll come down here. I definitely want this. I want as much of that as I can. So we'll go ahead and cut this right here. And this is gonna be magical. Okay, so this is gonna give us a pocket. Now, we have this piece here. This would make a really nice, just tuck on the side. So let, okay, I think we'll put it on this, this page here, okay. Again, we can go ahead and pull the, the piece off. That's going to make that lighter. I just have to decide which, which is going to be a better, yeah, like this piece for both. For both. Okay. And we'll go ahead and mark it. Find our mark and cut it. Find our mark, make sure we're in here good. Okay, so we can put this on here and it can be a border tuck on this side. I think this side's a better border tuck because it's smaller. So that's where our border tuck is going to be. And you're probably wondering, but Julie, where is the flip-flop? And where is the double tuck? Well, those are coming. Those are coming. Those are my two favorite things to add into a journal. Okay, so, but here's a border tuck. And what we've done is we've brought in some really pretty paper and now we have added it. We have our place here where we can add a flip flop. And we will. And so, and then let me pull down. We do have an envelope for a double tuck, okay? So if we have a place for it, we have an envelope for it. Some ledger paper. Okay. That's what we're gonna use for our flip flop is some of this avocado dyed ledger paper. So it has that pink tone, it has the that beautiful green tone. You know what, we'll use the cutter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come over. I'm gonna pull this up. cut it right at the, the line there. We might not have to cut it. Yeah, if we stop at the bottom. But just barely. I do like to have ledger in the journals that I make because I think having a place to make a list, whether it's, you know, if you're using this for a goal setting thing or prayers, 
Okay, so I have my paper ready. That's going to look amazing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to fold it on this next line. So it's about a quarter of an inch. Between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it back. And I'm going to add my glue along that little in between the two folds. Okay, and then we'll add it into this corner. So yes, you're going to need a flip-flop somewhere in your journal. So one of your 10 things should be a flip-flop. There we go. And then Okay, we're not worried about this because Ooh, I like that idea. Because we can cut down our envelope. Okay? So, we are going to cut down our envelope for it to fit. So there, now I have an envelope that fits. I'm going to straighten this out a little bit if I can. See that paper? I wasn't real worried about it being straight, but now that I'll try and get it a little straighter. I don't know if it worked or not, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we'll use... Um, Decide which side he is. Yeah, we'll go with this way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to put glue along this edge of our envelope and glue from the center in. And this is going to give us these two triangle tucks. That's how we, why we call it a double tuck. And so we, we have these two tucks now. And I used a busy page. So it'll be pretty. And then we'll come over here and we also are able to um, add something into our envelope here. Okay, on this particular envelope, we have this opening down here, so we're going to want to cover that, and let's see what we, okay, they're too, they're too short. She's really purple. I know, I still have so much. So much stuff. Oh, look at. Well, that'll fit in there really well. Sometimes you just get lucky. It's like, oh, well, we can do this. And we'll just put them together with this. Rather than having it go off the top, we'll have it come off the edge. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and Well, we have what, what will go in the envelope. <laughs> we'll just add these papers right here, right here into this envelope. It's 
perfect. Perfect. And you can just leave it like that. It's okay. It's quite all right. Because then you could come in here and you could... You could actually put one of these cards... make her like a little what if we just put her on there that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to make her another little tuck spot she'll kind of cover up that So we have that part of the double tuck taken care of. And I think we'll just add her. Not super fancy, but pretty. And then, okay, put that down in the thing. Okay. We have this. Uh, it's not as big as I thought. So I'm adding this to my envelope, okay, right here, and I love this. Okay, so I'm going to make it, it's going to be a double, double tuck. It's different than the other double, the layered double tuck. This is just a double, double tuck. So we're going to put this, we put glue across and up and down. We've used another piece of the gift bag. Hooray! Okay, and then we can just put little pieces of Okay, so we'll be able to put something small into those. You know what I have? I haven't used in a while.
So there's that. Use the postal scissors. And make a stamp. And then cancel your stamp. Mini challenge in the challenge number five, deadline June 6th. You need to make two paper clips decorated. 10 embellishments, including one with packaging, one flip-flop, one double tuck, including the enclosures, and then seven other different items. So a total of 10. Find something to celebrate every day, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the videos are coming up, and have an amazing day. Don't forget to watch one of these videos. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.